Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I am Amber. I wanted to share with you something that I saw in the on Facebook in that um, group that I was telling you guys about yesterday, Walk with Jehovah. Um, I found this to be a really super interesting um, post. And it really kind of gets us inside the mind of Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, this organization, as we know, is so heavily ruled by fear. And so when I saw this, I was like, let me take a look and see what people, what people are, you know, saying that they want from Jehovah. If, it says here, if Jehovah ask you what do want me to give you what can you want okay it, in other words what he's saying is if Jehovah wanted if Jehovah asked you what you wanted and it was anything what would you ask for so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these comments we'll just go back to the beginning oops load previous Go back, go back, go back. Load previous. It's quite a few comments. This is an actually an active post right now that people are looking at. Um, and internal life. I think that what they mean, and I kind of wrote it there as you can see, is eternal. I think they're, they're meaning eternal life, that they want to live forever. Uh, nothing but give me life everlasting life, ability to serve him well in faith, everlasting life and trust, everlasting life, to be healthier and a better servant, life, to help the Jehovah's Witnesses to realize they're in a cult. Yes, Mark, there is a wonderful nugget right there. Let's see what the next person said about that. There's not a cult. They're not a cult, but nice try. Just because you don't agree with them does not give you the right to trash people so stop it this is a place for folks who don't want to suffer anymore okay fair enough fair enough new comment coming up knowledge wisdom more faith so so that this person can do things in all his glory um oh somebody john wants a wife Uh, life, everlasting life, everlasting life. I would want him to give you the ability to think for yourself and see through all the lies that you are being fed by false prophet and cult that is Jehovah's Witness. Thank you, Keith. That's a nice little nugget right there. Everlasting life, knowledge that leads to everlasting life, mercy. And he's probably wanting mercy so that he can have life. Everlasting life, life and health. Good health, wisdom and life, everlasting life. Approval to paradise. Um, everlasting life, approval to paradise. And, and when I read and I see approval to paradise, I take that as everlasting life as well because life is promised to be lived out for an eternity in paradise so to me that's the same everlasting life clear sense of hearing and everlasting life um this man wants to live together with the one hundred forty-four thousand. so again he wants everlasting life but he wants it to be in the heavenly class instead of the earthly class god's kingdom to rule on earth as it is in heaven let it come let it come so that's another, to me, I feel like that's another everlasting life because when God's kingdom comes to rule, then they would be in paradise. So that would be everlasting life in my opinion. Life, internal life, not sure why they keep saying that, but true friends. That's really interesting to me that Hilda would say true friends because in the organization, that's what they talk about, that these are your true friends. You know, where's the love? Where's the friends? It, I mean, it's kind of sad almost because they're within this 
enormous organization and what they're asking for is true friends. Don't they have two friends? Isn't that what that organization is all about? They're brothers and sisters, they're true friends. However, Hilda seems to feel like she's lacking true friends. Wisdom and understanding, approval to paradise, peace, peaceful and everlasting life, everyone to live forever, peace, life and forever, wisdom, everlasting life, um, somebody wants their father back to life, paradise, so that's another life, um, somebody wants their mom and wisdom um, to meet the mo their mom and brother, wisdom, uh, everlasting life, life and protect, pro, pro, I'm not sure what that is, okay. Um, strength to preach the good news, that is a difficult one because service is not fun. Peaceful life, everlasting life, life without death. Cynthia wants to see better world conditions. I agree, Cynthia, I want better world conditions too. Um, endurance, everlasting life. Let's see what this next comment is. I want to almost bet that it's going to be everlasting life. But the reason why I thought that this was, you know, just so very interesting. Oh, they're still writing. Was because I have done videos in the past where I've talked about, um, you know, what it's all for, you know, what Jehovah's Witnesses are striving for, why they go out into field service, why they're so faithful to their meetings, why, you know, are they putting forth so much effort? Why it, why even, you know, are they so nasty at times? And it's because, and we can see it very clearly here from inside the minds of these Jehovah's Witnesses that all they really want is everlasting life. They want what's dangled in front of them they want the carrot and the carrot is everlasting life oh they're, maybe they're writing a maybe they're writing a whole paragraph or something it's going on and on so you know when, when we we sit and we think about what this organization is all about and how it's so fear driven and the carrot being you know the positive positive they want the positive they're they're living in absolute fear and we even saw some people just only want true friends um which they feel that they're lacking so they are they're fear driven they're driven to obtain that carrot which is everlasting life and i just honestly i feel like how sad i want peace in the world i i agree i want peace in the world too that's a good one Let's see what the next person's writing. I've been seeing so many things, you know, I've, I've been having so many different thoughts um, as I see a lot of these posts within this group. It's really, um, it's really astounding, you know, some of the things that even myself that I've forgotten being out of the organization for just even, you know, the period of time that I've been out of the organization. I saw a post the other day where someone was asking, and I posted it um, here on YouTube, but somebody was asking if they could watch a certain channel, if, if it would be okay for a witness to watch a certain channel. So, you know, they're, they're, it really truly is, and no one can really question that at this point, how fear based this religion is and how mind controlling it is for someone to ask everlasting life there we go if for someone to have to ask or feel that they even need to ask you know if it's okay to watch a certain channel on television that's mind control at its best new world so another everlasting life his kingdom to be on earth as it is in heaven. So I take that as another everlasting life. But I think we've made the point here. So we'll just jump out of the minds of Jehovah's Witnesses for now and conclude this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if this video has helped any of you, please share it with somebody else that you think that it could help. Please subscribe. 
and hit the bell so that you know when I make new videos. I do lots of live videos these days, so if you hit that bell, you'll be notified when I go live. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Until then.